Hi, I'm Vanessa Kynes and I'm a Pinterest marketing strategist for the Creative Small Businesses. I help creative small businesses craft traffic generating Pinterest marketing strategies. Today's video is all about how to find new clients as a service based business on Pinterest. Pinterest is the perfect place to grow your audience, visibility, know, like, trust, and also, yes, gain more clients. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I've discovered more clients and booked more by utilizing Pinterest. The key strategy to getting clients by using Pinterest is to one, you need to be writing about your subject. Writing about your subject on your personal blog develops your know, like, trust. You want to show people that you are an authority on a subject and that they can trust you with their time and with their money. Those people will be using Pinterest to solve a problem. So maybe the question they're asking is, how do I hire the right virtual assistant? You can create a blog post and of course a pin that leads back to your site where you answer the question to their problem, but also give them an opportunity to contact you if you can be that virtual assistant that they're looking for. So writing on the subject is really the most powerful way that you can develop leads and turn them into paying clients. Another example is if you're a graphic designer, if someone's looking for a graphic designer, they may not know the language or the technology of hiring a graphic designer. Maybe they don't even know what they need, but they know that they need graphics. So if you're a graphic designer, you could write about how to hire a graphic designer or what you need to launch your brand. So those are great ways and great pieces of content where someone could discover your pins on Pinterest, come to your site, and then also book as a client. So what we're going to talk about in this video is what you need to have on your site so that you can be optimized to turn those leads into paying clients. The first thing that you need to have is an about me page. On my page, I call this start here because I think it's a great way for people to start and learn more about this person who's writing this content about Pinterest marketing. This is a great place to show what you know about Pinterest, what you, how you've used it, maybe what results you have. And then also I think it's important that you include copy about who you are. So on my website, I talk about that I'm a mother to three, I've traveled all over, things that are important to me and also my unique value proposition. Your unique value proposition is important because it's going to help you attract the right types of clients. If you don't want to attract clients who are interested in different subjects, then you want to make sure your UVP or unique value proposition is super clear so that you're attracting the right kinds of leads that can lead to clients. The second thing I recommend having on your website loud and clear is a contact page or a work with me page. What this page basically has is it might detail a way to contact you, whether that's an email or maybe even a form where they can tell you a little more about themselves that they can submit, or it might even actually include um, concepts of your services and packages. So for example, if you have three packages, you might list those three packages with their price. If you don't want to list the prices, that's okay. I've seen people who've just list the packages and ask them to be contacted, or you can also list the starting rate for the price. So if every project changes and has a different price based on the client, then you can do that as well. At the very least, have an easy way for people to contact you and submit a question or find out if they can hire you. My other recommendation is to have an opt-in freebie. So what I mean is give away for people who are unsure of what they need or maybe aren't ready to contact you because they're being a bit shy. Give them a way to subscribe to your email. Make sure that opt-in freebie, again, shows what you know about the subject, giving authority to that subject. So when they subscribe to your email, they can learn more about you through your email funnel, which means you're going to have a series of emails that goes out when someone subscribes where you tell a bit about yourself. You tell about your services. If you're a service-based business, it's a good idea to talk about how you've served clients in the past, what kind of results they have, and how someone can book you. I get a lot of emails for client inquiries through my email funnel because I think people want to know who I am and what I've done in the past with Pinterest to help people succeed. The last thing I want to highlight is client experience. So now now that you have all these leads converting to clients from Pinterest, the next easiest way to get clients is to give them a good experience so that you can get a referral. I think client experience is super important when you consider having a system like Dubsado that I use every single day in my business that can host your contracts, having good solid contracts that protect both you and the client and I get my contracts from the contract shop I can leave an affiliate link below where you can discover those as well the important part is that you give that client a great experience so that you can get the referrals to keep the leads coming into your inbox 
So that's it. That's how I use Pinterest to get new clients. It's a powerful way of showing your authority and showing what you know on a subject to get people the results that they're looking for. Are you a service-based business? I totally recommend Pinterest as a way to grow your client leads. If you're looking for more Pinterest marketing strategies, you can subscribe to this YouTube page or you can subscribe to my email in the link below where I'm sharing my free Pinterest startup guide to get you started using Pinterest for your service-based business. Thanks so much for watching today.